Hi guys and welcome and I'm Chris. Today's video is going to be on the ASP Supreme Blonde Toners. Now these have been around for a little while but they have had some updates. So I'm going to be giving you the tips and tricks on how to use them, when to use them and why to use them. So stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, why don't you like, subscribe and hit the notification button. So let's just do it. I think toners are a massive part of the industry with blondes being so popular as well as the balayage. So when do you tone and what toners do you use? Now within the ASP portfolio you can use the converter to convert your colours into toners which is fantastic. However there was always a call for a specific range of toners. So ASP responded to this by launching the Supreme Blonde Toners. Now you have different toners that do different jobs within this range. You have three toners that have lift and you have five toners that have deposit only. So, so first of all, let's take a look at the three toners that have lift built into them and why we would use these. Now, now all of your toners are mixed with converter, one part tin and two parts converter and they're all up to a 25 minute visual watch. So within the range you have T21, T21S and T2 and they all have very different purposes. So let's have a look at when I would use these. So first of all you have your T2 which the two in the ASP range indicates that it's violet which is ideal for neutralizing out gold. You then have your T21, which is blue, which is going to neutralize out your copper. And you have your T21S, which again is blue, but gives you a supreme clean color when used on the right base. Now these three toners have a level of lift built into them, and that has an advantage, and it also has a disadvantage. So let's talk about the advantage first. Of course, we all know expectations of clients and we all over promise or we don't quite get to where we think we are. So having a toner that has a level of lift built into it is really important. So these toners can be applied at the basin on pre-washed towel dried hair, one to two mixing ratio and a visual watch of up to 25 minutes. And they're gonna help to lift that color up. Now there's no promises on how much they will lift, of course, and how much they will grab. That depends on the porosity of the hair. But in my experience, you're gonna get a level of lift. But again, in my experience, you want to use the correct toner. So on a base 10, nine, and maybe an eight, I'm gonna be using my T2, which is violet, and it's gonna neutralize out that unwanted gold. On a darker base, that's when I'm gonna be using my T21 because that is gonna counteract the copper, really only found in an eight and below. Not necessarily, but it's a good guide. And then your T21S really cleans the hair out, but to get that very white, very clean, you're gonna to have to have the base light already. Not saying that you can't use it on a darker base, but it is best on the lighter bases to really clean it out. Now, having that level of lift is fantastic, but what you also have to remember on the flip side is it will lift natural hair. So if you have sections, whether that's highlights, panels, whatever it is, where there is natural hair or other colors that you don't want to touch, having this level of lift built in could be an issue. And this is when you might want to consider using your 10.2 or your 10.2.1 as a toner mixed with converter so that there is no lift because you don't want the other colors to lift. Now, the other five toners within the range are deposit only. Now, this again is a fantastic use and won't touch any other colors within the hair. But to get the best results, you might have to actually tone with one of the other lifting toners first to clean the hair out to get the result that you want. So the new colors that have been added are T135, a mushroom, and T22, a lilac, which again are beautiful colors. And, but to get the true result, you may have to use something like the T2 or the T21 beforehand to lift and clean out the hair before putting these over. I'm not saying that you won't get a beautiful result, but if you're looking at the swatches, don't forget these are done on very light hair already. So if you're looking at the swatches wanting to get the result of the T22, then you have to think, I've got to get them to at least a clean 10 
to achieve that result. And also there's nothing wrong as well with intermixing the toners together to cocktail and personalize to your own client's specific needs. Now personally, I like mixing the T32 and the T2 together. I find it just slightly takes the edge off of the T2 when the hair can be a little bit dry and porous so I don't get any areas where it grabs too much and find it gives me a softer beigey color. But again, you can do this and cocktail and mix but remember, always try this out on a swatch and that even on a swatch, porosity of the hair can differ over the head, so you may get varying results. Now, I'll link a video below done by Let Lou and Ambassador that shows you some of the results on this. And I've worked with Let on a number of shows and seminars, and he's fantastic with using these toners as well as the metallics to achieve great results. So why don't you check him out? So if you've liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And I'll see you next time.